Hello, my name is Raymond Atkins. Uh, this is Sweetwater Blues, my, my latest novel. And I'd like to read you just a small selection from it. Rodney and Palmer were deep into their celebrations and not worried about Miller McChesney or his phobia when they decided that the night was still young enough for another journey to the beer joint. It was a decision that forever altered the small part of the world they knew and called their own. Many times during the ensuing years, Palmer Cray marveled that he was able to recall those memories so well, especially considering that he didn't recollect much at all from the time right after. But the memories were there. All he had to do was close his eyes, and they all came back to him as welcome as a night's terror as wanted as a hurricane. The stars that night had been twinkling lights strung randomly against a backdrop of black cloth. Blue and white beacons sparkled just out of his reach. The only cloud in the entire sky had wrapped itself tightly around the heavy moon like a cape. A wispy brown fog meandered to and fro among the white tombstones. The gravel road gleamed alabaster in the moonlight, and fireflies danced their careful dance ever watchful for barefoot children bearing mason jars. It wasn't just the images that came to him. He could breathe the scent of early summer as they lingered on the gentle breeze, the sugary perfume of the blossoms on the fat honeysuckle vines as they hung from the branches overhead, the thick sweetness of the gardenias, and the overripe richness of the magnolias. He could hear the crickets and the tree frogs as they croaked through streets and from a great distance came a long, mournful note as the freight train approached the Mark Project. It was a slow moment in time, a rare glimpse of perfection, a brief calm before the gale descended and the tide surged against the sea wall. At that instant, they had all the days of the world before them. Their lives were on blemished canvas, and they could paint just about whatever they did.